Hello students, welcome to an academy. I am Krishna Verma, your educator and in today's lesson I am going to discuss about ignition delay uh, in compression ignition engine. Ignition delay is the first stage of combustion in compression ignition engine and we generally consider the fuel injection process in uh, ignition delay. So let's start our lesson. These are the contents of today's lesson. I will first discuss about the ignition delay. Then what are the types of ignition delay? I will cover these two topics in today's lesson. So let's start our lesson. Uh, this diagram as I already told you. This diagram is representing the working of 4 stroke compression ignition engine. Here it, con it consists 4 stroke intake compression power and exhaust. I won't explain it again. But here I, would, I want to tell you that the combustion process will start from the end of the compression stroke. When the air compressed into the compression stroke, the temperature and pressure of the air will increase and at the end of the compression stroke, the fuel injection will start. So we will consider the combustion process will start at the end of the compression stroke and after that the fuel will inject into the cylinder and the fuel will burn. Uh, because of the uh, self ignition temperature or the auto ignition and this combustion process will end uh, before starting the expansion stroke. So this was the duration of combustion in uh, compression ignition engine. Now let's start our main topic that is ignition delay. So as I told you uh, that the ignition delay is the first stage of combustion in compression ignition engine. It is a very important stage and it has a great impact uh, or great influence on uh, engine design as well as on performance of the engine. I already discussed about the ignition delay in previous lecture during this stage of combustion in compression ignition engine. Uh, with the help of pressure crank angle diagram. So this diagram is representing the same diagram pressure crank angle but here this is the pressure time diagram or we can say it is a pressure crank angle diagram and this curve is representing the total combustion of fuel in compression ignition engine and in this curve the uh, starting point and we considered as the start of ignition delay or start of de uh, delay period. So from this point you can see here this delay period is represented by this particular area. So this curve will represent the ignition delay in, di uh, in diesel engine or compression ignition engine. So this extended diagram uh, of this ignition delay uh, is this. Here you can see this curve AB. This curve AB is representing the ignition delay or delay period in compression ignition engine where at point A you can see at point A we will consider the start of injection. At point A the injection of the fuel will start and at point B this at this point B the ignition delay will end and from that point B the second stage will start and here at point B we also consider the pressure curve will separate from the compression curve. Here you can see the dotted line this representing the compression curve and the solid line is representing the pressure curve. So I will tell you uh, why this is happening but here we will consider we will see here and during this uh, ignition delay the, during this process AB because of the continuous injection of fuel and uh, this uh, pressure there is a sudden pressure or there is a pressure increase we will consider during this ignition delay. So uh, we can say this ignition delay is the process where the injection or the fuel injection will start but we will consider no ignition during this period. So when we are considering only injection of fuel but no ignition that is called ignition delay. And uh, as I told you at point B at the end of the ignition delay the pressure curve separate from the compression curve. So what is the reason behind it? So at the end of the point B or at the end of the ignition delay the ignition delay is ending at this point. So from at this point the uncontrolled combustion will start and during this uncontrolled combustion you can see there is a sudden pressure rise. There is a rapid pressure rise uh, takes place. 
because of continuous supply of fuel and as well as the fuel will mix up with the high pressure and high temperature air so this is the reason why the pressure is increasing at the uh, after the uh, point b or during the stage of uncontrolled combustion so uh, this is the reason uh, because uh, this uh, pressure curve is separating with the compression curve the fuel is uh, the fuel injection is continued during this process as well as this fuel is mixing with the high pressure and high temperature air so the pressure of uh, the during this uncontrolled combustion will continuously increase after point b so that is the reason why because these two curves separate now uh this ignition delay we can say is it is divided into two parts one is the physical delay and another is the chemical delay so, so we can say here uh, this delay period is the combination of both type of delay physical delay plus chemical delay now what is physical delay and what is chemical delay so i will explain here the physical delay uh, the physical delay is basically the time when the fuel injection start and Uh, the fuel is mixed with air and uh, it is just the chemical reaction tend to start we will consider the chemical reaction tend to start so in this ignition delay the fuel atomized vaporized and mixed with air and during this uh, condition the temperature will increase so here we will consider uh, the at point a and this uh, you can see here in this uh, graph uh, this uh, ignition delay is divided into two parts this ab is divided into two part the shorter period or shorter area is representing the uh, physical delay and the second area is representing the second type of delay chemical delay so they during this physical delay we will consider the fuel injection and this fuel is mixed with air or this fuel uh, uh, or in this condition the fuel atomized vaporized and mixed with air and also we will consider the temperature increase now in chemical delay uh, in chemical delay we generally consider the pre flame reaction start the start of pre flame reaction we consider during the chemical delay and this chemical reaction between the fuel and uh, fuel and air will start to ignite the fuel at point b these chemical reaction will help to ignite the fuel at point b and it will continue up to ignition generally as you can see in this diagram this representing the chemical delay and this is representing the physical delay so we can say this chemical delay is bit longer than the physical delay but this duration is always depends upon the temperature inside the combustion chamber for example at high temperature the chemical reaction are fast inside the combustion chamber so in that condition the physical delay is longer than the chemical delay and in compression ignition engine we generally consider the ignition delay is always shorter than the duration of the injection why because uh, the injection of fuel as i already told you that Uh, the injection of fuel is uh, continue up to certain limit of time or for the particular time and that injection will continue during the combustion process also so uh, we can say this ignition delay is shorter than the duration of injection in ci engine now as i uh, already discussed in previous lecture uh the ignition lag and spark ignition engine so there is a bit difference between the uh, ignition lag and spark ignition engine and the delay period in ci engine these two terms are completely different ignition lag and delay period generally in uh, spark ignition engine the ignition uh, lag is we consider this ignition lag is equivalent to chemical delay into the ci engine this ignition lag is equivalent to chemical delay in ci engine why because there is no physical delay in uh, spark uh, spark ignition engine uh, we are considering no uh, ignition and no physical delay in spark ignition engine because uh, the fuel which we are using in spark ignition engine is already in vaporized condition that fuel is in homogeneous condition or the homogeneous mixture of the fuel we used in spark ignition engine so that is the reason uh, we are not considering any physical delay we are only considering uh, the uh, chemical delay because the fuel is already in vaporized condition now in compression ignition engine we consider 
the delay period will affect the pressure rise in the combustion chamber and why this pressure rise we consider uh, because in compression ignition engine the fuel which we are using is considered as the heterogeneous mixture the diesel fuel we are using and uh, that is a heterogeneous mixture so this change in rate of pressure uh, in compression ignition engine we are considering because of heterogeneous mixture it cause knocking and this knocking is the uh, is related to abnormal combustion so this affect the performance of the engine generally in a compression ignition engine uh, the increase in pressure in second stage is always depends on the duration of delay period or duration of ignition delay so if we are considering the ignition delay is longer in that condition more fuel will enters into the cylinder uh, during the fuel injection which cause increase in rate of pressure rise or we generally uh, says uh, there is a rapid pressure rise because of the increased quantity of fuel into the combustion chamber before the burning of the fuel so because of this uh, increase quantity of fuel or more fuel will enter into the combustion chamber before the burning of fuel so uh, because of this more fuel we require more oxygen to burn that increase amount of fuel from the air so because of that this condition will affect the smooth running of the engine so we generally consider the diesel engine should have short delay period for smooth running and the control pressure rise and one more point i want to add uh, one more point i also want to add here uh, regarding the uh, compression ignition or the combustion in compression ignition engine uh, as we know that in compression ignition engine for the burning of fuel the fuel generally comes in the form of a small droplet uh, from the fuel injector which convert into vapor slowly when it comes from the fuel injector and it comes into the combustion chamber it convert into vapor very slowly so in compression ignition engine uh, in that condition we need or we require more ox uh, more oxygen from the air to burn the fuel so uh, the air fuel ratio in that particular condition or the mixture of the air fuel ratio uh, should be richer for proper combustion of fuel so here we will consider or we should have a rich air fuel mixture for the combustion uh, in compression ignition engine so this is about the ignition delay and the physical uh, and chemical delay the physical delay and chemical delay this combination of these two delays uh, known as the ignition delay and in ignition delay we consider the injection of fuel so this was about the ignition delay Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe the channel for more lectures.